Hey, I am back again. This is Polly, the watercolor teacher, and we are going to do a um, nautical piece today. We're going to do a seahorse, and they're kind of a whimsical, beautiful little creature, and um, I just thought it'd be kind of fun. I have never painted one before, so I, I whipped one out today to do, and they come in all kinds of different colors. They can be, I've seen, um, I've been looking at them. Um, they're orange, they're yellow, they can be kind of crimson, purple, blue, turquoise. So today I kind of picked, we're going to do a purple one. And we're also going to use salt. This is just an old, ancient salt shaker that I had from my mom. And I love it because of the little holes. So I'm going to show you what salt does today. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. This is what salt kind of leaves a cool pattern as you're painting. So if you want to, grab a salt shaker. You could even just take a little pile and pinch it in your hand and then put it on. So if you want, we can put a little bit of salt on today and I'll show you how to do that. So right now, we're going to kind of jump in pretty quick. We're going to take, it's everything, we're going to start out with our seahorse. It's going to be the lavender colors. We've got ultramarine blue mixed with the lizard and crimson. Ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, and I also took cerulean blue and alizarin crimson. See the different colors that they make with the different blues? And then I also had some um, just purple, too, um, that I had randomly bought that you can use. So right now, what we're going to do, we're going to go pretty quick. I've got my little seahorse over here. Also, if you want to tape off your piece like I did here, I just had some painter's tape. You can get at the local hardware store, wherever. Um, even the grocery store, they'll carry them, and that's how you get these crisp edges. So I've got her taped off, I've scored it, and we're ready to go. So first off, I've got, I'm going to use my number four, so I have some control. And I'm going to very quickly start out with the nose of the little um, seahorse. And I'm not going to get the eye wet, I'm going to go around the eye. And it's not sopping wet. Remember, you can just use your napkin and daub it if you need to, if you get a little too wet. Right now, I'm working with a four. And I'm just, I'm going to use, I'm going to kind of go up around here, and I'm going to use this as a barrier right now. I'm not going to hit the whole body right now. I'm kind of feeling my way around on this little animal. Creature. Okay, so here's that lavender, and I'm going to kind of water it down. It's really deep here, and I've kind of pulled it and watered it down. Instead of dipping right into the paint, you can pull it away and add more water, and it'll lighten it up. I'm going to start out with a little nose, and I want the lavender light first. Or purple, however you want to say it. And a lot of times you can just put it down. And we've just stopped here where we got it wet. I'm going to focus on the head right now. Working pretty fast. See, we left the eye, the area around the eye alone. And then what I can do, if it's pretty saturated, I can just kind of take my brush and give it a little swipe with my napkin and just kind of lay it on here and it'll suck up that extra water. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to dip into the lavender, heavier on paint, lighter on, um, lighter on water. And I'm just focusing on the head right now and I'm just going to kind of go around the eye after I put that initial lavender down. I'm going to put a little bit up here. And we can keep, I'm going to show you as we go, we can keep building up onto this too. I'm going to show you something else that I'm going to do too. See that nice bleed? I'm also going to take just some straight alizarin crimson, straight alizarin crimson, and that's what I did in here. And I just kind of laid it, and this is all wet right in here, and just let it kind of do its own thing. Again, it's the tape, same kind of thing, you kind of get what you get. his jaw. Okay. Take some more 
lavender. Here, I'll just pull this. We're going to keep adding the, the top of this thing anyways. And remember, my paintings never du duplicate themselves. Okay, now what I'm going to do, and I'm going to work really fast, I'm going to take that light lavender. I just wanted that, I just needed enough time to get that head in, and I can always come back and make mess around on the head like, okay, that's bugging me. I can just take some water on my brush. Okay, I should leave, I need to stop it. Leave it alone. Okay, now I'm just going to take that lavender, Look how light it is, and I'm just going to go ahead and do, pull around and do the whole body right now. I'm working with the number four. And if you look at these little creatures, yeah, they're just so different. So you don't have to be, what's so neat about these, you can be so random because they're so funky looking. You see how I'm just pulling and I'm keeping the lavender? This is going to be all the, this light lavender will be all these highlighted areas. So right now I'm just working really fast. I'm, do, I'm not getting it wet per se, the whole entire thing. I'm just kind of working my way down. This little fin back here, leave it alone. Don't even touch it yet. Right now we're just kind of getting this in. You're going to go all the way around. We're just kind of on a timeline. We kind of wanted to just get that head in so I can kind of show you. Get this in. And then after I get this in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with the hair dryer and we can come back and we'll put some definition on the um, seahorse. See how I'm just putting it in. Not a lot of color, a lot of water. And when the it flows nicely when you have water in it. Just going to kind of go around. Every now and then I'm dipping into some lavender. Okay. Then what you're going to do, go take this and dry it with the hair dryer, and then I'll be back the next um, lesson.